welcome back to our Panda session. Today we will work a little bit with Panda. I want to show you a couple more things which we can do there, correct? And the goal is of today's session is to actually to teach you for some methods and libraries for web-based application visualization. What do I mean by that? So you now you learn a little bit how to Pandas work, the library Pandas work. Uh, your very next step is you learn how to visualize a diagram by using different libraries. You learn volume for the map um, visualization. So we go a little bit deeper here. And again, I don't know pandas really well deeply, but anytime I need something from pandas, I go here and we have like tutorials which come from pandas. Actually, the goal of this session is to teach you the learning process where you should start and what will be the next step to continue with the pandas so now i will show you a little bit here and then we will jump to the visualization uh, by using different uh, libraries and languages so yeah so last time we start when we used the draw this diagram the pie chart if you didn't see it please go back and watch previous video but today we would like to work with data more so here we have our csv file and we have like bunch of the records right we have different movies different studios which have made those films uh, and cartoons and also we have their ratings which is rotten tomato rating and how much money they made for the specific year we have different type of data now we for example would like to work with this data and our first step we would like to know as an example um, filter the data by I don't know, the average rating on, on the movie in the Rotten Tomatoes. Our next step will be, as in the previous video I show you, to create a var variable like average uh, rating. We have created the variable. Now we go to the pandas uh, object which we have created and we import the library and we store the path to the, this CSV file where I can read from, right? As in the previous video was described. So now we go to the data, a data object, and inside of the object, we can actually go to specific segment of the data we're looking for. Since all tables are cons they consist of columns and um, columns and rows, we easily can manipulate with this data. So what I'm talking about now, since we call the object and we want to store the average rating, we call in the data again because we want to segmentize to make a segment of this data and store it as a different object right and now in this data i'm calling the rotten tomatoes uh, rating i'm not sure how to spell it since english not my first language uh, i will just copy paste that go to my file and enter the column name here right and then I'm using math mathematics like symbols like equals and let's say 90 and um, then I close the brackets right so um, so I can tell that uh, data data I need to close it correct and then I want to try and mean oh okay it's not allowing me so it means I'm doing something wrong okay what do I have here I created data go inside of data go to the rotten tomatoes maybe they don't like the uh the the quotes which i have used we'll see oh no it was not an issue the equals oh i don't need to close it here that was a problem and now i need to close it so always pay attention on the brackets so the reason for that is you see we have we open bracket here for the data object we work with that and when we need to close it after that syntaxes welcome to syntax um, if you're confused with that you always can find all um, segmentation of the here for example how they are written select subset of the data so it will show you with the examples here since I did it already that's why I memorize it but here you can see how to work with syntaxes how to segmentize Okay, uh, let's try to segmentize our data. Let's run, learn one more method in it. Let's learn how to group by, right? So we want to learn how to segmentize uh, the data. Let's say it will be a group by method. 
or function since it's a uh, um, Python based and let's go to our data object under the data object we easily can use the method group by which is already written there and now we can go to specific column we are looking for since we know that all the data segmentized by the um, headers right the columns and the rows <laughs> so all of that uh, and in this group by uh, we go in divide by let me go to the movies so let's do genre and film right we will find which movies and uh, which uh, which movies related to which uh, genre let's find to do that uh, in the single columns I need to use genre after that I close the uh, bracket here and then I will specify um, the film right so I have one object genre and then I will have the film okay okay let me go to the film okay and now I want to use count method which will give me the exact number I need okay uh, now let me print it out and let me run it okay now I can see the genre action we have one movie animation four comedy one comedy 41 drama 13 fantasy one romance 13 so that's how we can actually specify the genre and number of the movies um another thing what we can do actually not only uh segmentize by group by if you want for example to go to specific uh, specific row or specific column right um right here there is certain methods which we can use so one of them it's ioc which go to the specific exactly row um let me show you that print uh data again since we're working with our data object then i go ilc i lock and then i need to specify which rows exactly i want to see uh, let's say that all from the beginning and till the third row, for example. Um, or the from first, not all, I want to see from first to third. So we don't want to have it like big um, numbers here. So let me come in out the previous line so it will be easier to read for you. Let me clear the terminal for you and let me run it. Okay, now we can see we have, ah, by the way, why it returns only two not three the reason for that it's like indexes if we go from one till three it's only two you know, we know that indexes starts with zero so basically if you want to return three you need to specify here four so it's basic knowledge so here we go three three lines so called now we have those three records uh, let's say you want uh, let me mark it for you because i will post it on my repo so you can easily uh, relate to that Mm, go specific row okay now for example if you want to uh, go and take specific columns you don't want to take all the columns you want to go limited the columns and go to specific row okay we can do that uh, we go to print again since we want to print now to the console we go to the data object inside of the data object Let's go, let's say we want to see film. By the way, it's from capital letter or not? Let me see. Uh, column name, it's a capital letter. Okay. Uh, as soon as we have access to this object, what else? Inside this list as well, I'm passing the parameters. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, or general, let it be. And then um, rating, right? I want to rating uh, Rotten Tomatoes. I don't want help. I don't know, have no clue how to spell that. So let me just copy paste the name of the header from here. I will make my life easier, at least for a second. So now I have access to the Rotten Tomatoes column name, and now I want to go to specific um, uh, rows and uh, uh, cell. 
So basically I specify, let's say I will start with first and I will be done by fifth as an example. Let me comment out previous one and let me clear that and let me run it for you. Okay, I did a mistake. What kind of mistake I did? Because the following exception. Mm, what it says indexer key error okay it means i i something misspelled here uh what i could misspell here let me think let me think maybe i didn't close the brackets yeah i see it i i didn't close it let no hmm. it's not an issue probably ah i see now so since i i went to the object once right so i need to keep it on as a list so I'll provide it as a list but i didn't close uh, the data so this is the list for the columns but also i need to provide square brackets for the data itself in only in this case i can go and pass it right should be it data film i have it rotten tomatoes work class ioc5 I don't need that then and uh, I will print it out in the end since it's a print statement look legit to me so we have our sets of columns right we have it uh, we have oh I misspelled probably the column that's an issue let's see I think I misspelled something yeah now it works fine so as you can see, it returned four lines because it's based on the index. So from one to four, since index started from zero and it returned exactly columns, which I showed and their uh, rating. And all these methods you can find in this documentation, the amazing tutorials. It's actually saying that it's tutorials. And for example, how to reshape the value of data set. Here is a lesson how to do that. And it's pretty straightforward. Okay, we're done here. Our next step is visualization.